In this video, we're going to take a little deeper dive into a sine wave. Now that we understand how a sine wave is generated, and we're going to look at certain points along the sine wave just to get some terms out of the way so when we get deeper into it, we understand what we're talking about. Now, first off, we need to talk about the cycle. A cycle is defined as where the waveform starts to where it starts to repeat itself again. So if this went beyond the 360 degrees, it would just keep going and you'd get the sine wave continuing on and just repeating itself. Now it's also very important to notice that we start at zero and a full sine wave by the time it repeats itself has gone through 360 electrical degrees. When we're talking about the sine wave, we have them split up into two alternations. A complete cycle is a complete sine wave, but you'll notice here that I have one hump on top and one hump below. We have what could be termed a positive alternation, which is basically half of the waveform. And we have a negative alternation, which is below, the, which is our other half of the waveform. So one complete sine wave is consists of two alternations. Also, we have what's known as peak. And again, we have our positive alternation here. Our peak is the top of the sine wave. And we have a negative alternation. And therefore, we also have a peak in the negative direction. So you see there that we get a peak value positive and a peak value negative. You might hear some terms talk about peak to peak. That's basically two times peak because what they're saying is they're taking this value here, this peak, all the way up to this peak value here. Now it's not very practical, but you will hear that term come up from time to time, peak to peak. Now those are the important terms that we're dealing with when we're dealing with this waveform. In the next videos, we'll start digging a little deeper into what happens along each point here in the waveform and the different values that we can calculate from there.